they're such, they're amazing fall colors. Turmeric yellow and, and the browns of the toasted spices and this nutmeg that is lighter than any nutmeg I think I've ever seen before. And we'll incorporate all of the milk and the cream into that burnt honey. Ooh, it is hot. And uh, over here, some non-hand rolled couscous, i.e. some instant couscous. <laughs> With saffron and roasted mm, almonds. Nice. This one I'm going to do with uh, parsley and butter. And the obligatory preserved lemon. Mm. It looks perfect. I think we should uh, take it out. Okay, so this is chicken bastilla. Bastilla. There you go. Is it going to, is it releasing? Yes! Oh. Oh yes. Oh, oh, yes. oh very nice. Um, I'm leaving this on. Wow. So we're rolling the uh, beets in the pumpkin seed crumble. Mm. So roasted beets with uh, pumpkin seed crumble and avocado puree. So it's basically a uh, beet salad. Mm. And that pumpkin seed crumble is just about the best thing I've ever made in a food processor, I think. Here are the beets. They've been uh, tossed in olive oil. Here, I'm just going to dip the stems in half the beet. Really neat. It's uh, the consistency of coffee grounds and has a really amazing smoky uh, flavor. And a great taste, a really nutty taste from the pumpkin seeds. Hmm. All right, let's see. Oh, nice. Oh, yay! And check these out, Katie. Master at work here. Oh, those are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're really gorgeous. Yay. So we get the uh, crew to sit down? We shall. Okay. There's another interesting connection is that Tanya, who is now married and living in Senegal, mm. this is, they drink a very sweet green tea. She said she couldn't believe how much sugar they put in it. And that's what they drink five times a day. They, they stop whatever they're doing, they go in, they sit in a circle, and they drink this tea. Wow. So, John and Katie, mm. you made. Bastilla. Quite a dish here. Yeah. Is that powdered sugar? This is powdered sugar. This awesome. is a Moroccan chicken pot pie. Awesome. It is a quintessential Moroccan dish and a lot of actually anybody that I've talked to, and as soon as I say Bastilla, they're like, oh yes, I've had Bastilla. And the chef who wrote the books said he tried to do all these sort of chefy things with Bastilla and got hate mail, like uh, horrible like hate F mail. You. Like what are you doing with Bastilla? I'll never come back to your restaurant again. Don't be like messing with the Bastilla. So this <laughs> is like this. This, this has is, a... This is, oh, this is traditional. This is honest, honest to goodness, to goodness. Bastilla. And that's originally <laughs> Moroccan, because it sounds like a yeah. Spanish. Yeah, so trying to, yeah. no, I'm trying to sex up my and cheese. That's right. Wow. That's all right. Let's see, how's this doing? Is that amazing? Very delicious. Not, not, not. Let's go to Morocco. Oh boy. Sweet. So here's the curry ice cream. Very good. Very good. I highly recommend it. Curry ice cream. It's not just for breakfast anymore. Is that fine ice cream? I'm to share it. Some whiskey. Mm. What does he say when you yeah. remember? When you read it, yeah. Did you see a loss of translation? He says more heart. Three-year-old tries it. <laughs> yeah. Right? He couldn't have said just more heart. No. Um, that is incredible. Yeah. Uh, so we're hopeful.